power is the power of a harvard tree. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? Not a guess? You know this stuff is red lyrium, Seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <laughs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Keep the sacrifice still. Someone help me! That is Divine Justinia's voice. Your voice. Most holy called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run when you can! Run them! We have an intruder. Slay the canary. there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember echoes of what happened here the fade bleeds into this place this rift is not sealed but it is closed albeit temporarily i believe that with the mark the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely however opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side that means demons! Stand ready!
I didn't know you were awake, I swear. Is this another prison? I... no. I mean, I don't think so. Then where am I? Tell me! I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Oh, then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor, at once, she said.
like to speak with you. Lady Cassandra wanted to speak with you.
Please tell me if you find something. Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. So, you've changed your mind about me. I was wrong. Perhaps I still am. I will not, however, pretend you were not exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the Chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. What if I refuse? You can go if you wish. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. When I woke up, I certainly didn't picture this outcome. Neither did we. Help us fix this before it's too late.
Do you think the mages will be able to seal the breach? I didn't realize any of Leliana's Oxmen mercenaries were still here. Well, if you want new gear, you pay for it. Oh, you're her. Thryn, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logan McTeer. Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. King Alistair offered my services to the Inquisition. Probably to get rid of me. With that attitude, I can't imagine how you made enemies in Denerim. People just don't want to hear the truth. I was at Ostagar, and I know what really happened. King Caelan overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting the signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Loghain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harrit can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. Thanks for checking anyway. Who's back from the dead? Again. I shouldn't be surprised. You oxmen are tough as old leather. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Let me know if you need anything.
the Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. Am I riding in on a shining steed? I would have suggested a griffon, but sadly they're extinct. Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins? Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study, for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate mage, surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Cassandra has been accommodated, but you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. The lights in the shadow. In their blood, the maker's will is written. Tell me about this area. Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harris is the Inquisition Smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the Quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segrit. His prices aren't too high. Yet. Oh, there's also my knave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, 
I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work, something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. How did you come to be here? I come from a little town called Lothring. Long gone now. I was in Redcliffe when the Darkspawn hit it during the Blight. Helped rebuild. Left when Rorty decided it was time to hand the place over to the bloody mages. Ended up here. Just missed the boom. Can't decide if I'm the luckiest son of a bitch walking or the exact opposite. You're still walking. That's always good. True enough. What can you and your team make here? Arms and armor. We work iron to blighted dragon bone, if you've got it. Our designs are simple, but they get the job done. You want something fancy? Bring your own design. We'll see what we can do. Who outfits the Inquisition soldiers? Not me. I've got work to do. Can't be passing a sword to every blighter who signs up. If you want to help the troops, talk to Thren, the Quartermaster. She'll set up requisitions. Does the Inquisition not have supplies to make armor or weapons? Tough convincing traders to haul up here. Impossible to get them to risk the rare stuff, so that's on you. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. If you find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Goodbye. Right. Another time, then. Another time.
My uncle died at the conclave. I'm a good wife. I'm See yes. reason, Lucent. We cannot stay here. I like your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. You're not going to rejoin the Order? When the temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay, however I can. Do you have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meetings. Though, that distance did save my life. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace. I should look around.
Come to me, child, and I shall embrace you. In my arms lies its beauty. You're back, and in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajin was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Farewell. Does it trouble you? Not really. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly you have something in mind. We do. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are, we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. You're even taller than I'd heard. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Gunari, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. 
Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I should feel. <laughs> the Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach? The real threat? They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. My scouts are posted on the ridges, in case there's any trouble. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. They might not know much about the Canari, but you'll get no back talk from anyone here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, 
All of us here. We'll do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. This might interest you, sir. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. <laughs> 